Uh, Jeff Hopper has uh, made it up the street. Uh, he's hustled up to, uh, is it on Rideau, right? Uh, where it's you are? On Sussex. On Sussex, Sussex right. Sussex and Murray. You're right. Now, yes. uh, you've made your way to Richard Robinson's. Some fine looking fashions there, my friend. Beautiful, uh, beautiful clothing here. We're going to talk a lot about that. In fact, uh, Richard Robinson is my guest, uh, and we're live here at your beautiful shop. We're talking haute couture today, and not just that, on the different ways to, uh, the different ways that displays and, and also marketing the clothing is going as well. Uh, so, as we take a look around the shop, it is beautifully presented. How has, has the, the store evolved over time? Well, it'll be uh, 38 years this uh, coming June that we open Richard Robinson Fashion House. Wow. And at the beginning, it was a small boutique here on Sussex. Um, but this location, we have this part since uh, maybe 16 years now. Wow. And uh, we have the whole building. And upstairs, we have the administration office, the atelier where we produce all our clothes, plus the Academy of Fashion Designing. People should know that you, uh, you design the clothing here, obviously. Uh, and uh, Right? That's correct. Yeah, everything <laughs> is, everything is, is my design, and everything is produced here. Wow. And uh, we have clients from all over the world. No kidding. I can <laughs> see why as we take a look. Uh, let's talk about the new display. A lot of people who walk by on a daily basis might have noticed something a little different about your storefront. Yes. Uh, we have a flat screen display on the window instead of, uh, we used to have mannequin that we were uh, displaying the clothes, but now with the, the new technology, we were able to, to have the flat screen and display the, the clothes and any videos that we have uh, f uh, regarding publicity for our business. It's, it's, a, it's a unique idea that's starting to catch on, isn't it, in the fashion world? Yes, it's, uh, something, it's something that I had thought about maybe two years ago, but I had difficulty to, to be able to find somebody that could uh, do that for us. Right. And uh, finally, somebody showed up one day and offered me to, to do that, and it was a perfect timing. Mannequins are great because you can see how the clothes hang, but it's actually quite nice to see in the photos and in movement of yeah, the clothing in reaction to that's right. the body. And also, it, it gives us the opportunity to show even more design in the windows and uh, and we can change that uh, all the time. Now the Richard Robinson Academy of Fashion Design, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, that's the uh, school that we had uh, opened uh, 35 years ago and that was because uh, at the beginning I had to train people in a way to, to work for me right. and produce the quality of work that I had learned in France because I had worked at Christian Dior in Paris and Yves Saint Laurent and when I came back to and opened my own fashion house, uh, I had difficulty to find people working mm -hmm. for me. So I started to train people and that's how the academy had uh, started and then the Minister of Colleges and University asked me to, to offer that as a professional program and be recognized by the Minister of Colleges and University and now we, we train students from all over the world. Yeah, I imagine that it's an, uh, a quite a well subscribed program. Yes. It's and tough to get in? Uh, no, if you have the, the interest to become a fashion designer... Uh, and the talent, clearly. You need some raw that's talent, right. right? Yeah, because there's prerequisite to, to be accepted to the program. And it's a two-year program for to have the diploma as a fashion designer and a third year as a couturier. And we also offer part-time classes for people who just want to learn how to sew or how to make patterns. And That's great. Yeah, All right. So. Well, we are, we're going to talk more about... Haute Couture, what's coming up for spring and uh, some of the great fashions here at Richard Robinson uh, Haute Couture on Sussex and Murray. Kurt Studley is back in the studio. I think um, later on we should also try and find out how exactly Richard Robinson comes up with this stuff. Yeah, you know, where, it's amazing. where does it come from, right? Yeah, exactly. Amazing. We'll what, get to uh, the bottom of the creative process. You do that, Jeff. Okay. Sneak around in the back room. <laughs> okay. We'll see you shortly. See you. 7.57, much more to come here in the program. Believe it or not, uh, we're just hours now away from the start of Winterlude, officially on Friday, and the good news is it's been cold. Well, you know, uh, Kurt, you asked me to get to the bottom of the design concepts and mm -hmm. how they get into uh, into clothing and how the whole thing works. We're going to do it. Right on. All right. 
Here we go. Uh, Richard Robinson, again, uh, my guest here at his own shop. A great shop, too. It's just a great feeling here. The second you walk in, you get the, uh, you get the comfortable sense that uh, you're going to be well-dressed when you walk out. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were talking about those plasma screens as you walk by on your way to work, perhaps, or you walk through as you're shopping in, uh, in the market. You might notice a bit of a difference. There's uh, now plasma screens displaying all of your clothing, too, right? That's right. And uh, Zoom Effects actually did that for you? Yes, and, and people the, can uh, get on the website of uh, zoomfx.ca uh, and, and check out what your store looks like and all the other designs they'll right. uh, Now, here we are. This is a room. It seems to be a lot of fabrics through the room, as, uh, as I know that you will custom make for, for people, right? Like That's if somebody right. sees a particular outfit that they want, uh, in, a fabric, in a different fabric, you, they, can, do you can choose the fabric, the color, and we would produce for them the, the design that they want. That sounds fantastic. And, uh, and we were talking about it off air, about how cuts are so important because nobody is exactly like uh, a mannequin or even a model who are, who are pretty much genetic anomalies models are, right? Like they have this particular body type. So uh, the, for the average person to come in, they can get a great look because the cuts will be tailor-made. That's right. Uh, if it's uh, made to measure, no matter what shape you are, the clothes will be uh, made to fit your body mm -hmm. and also your personality. And uh, that's how it works from the design. Uh, we would make a pattern from the measurement of the client and then we would cut that in the canvas to prepare for fitting before it's cut in the real fabric. So that way the customer have the opportunity to see how it will look and fit on them before it's final. Right, let's talk about how you come up with your original designs because uh, 